I just wanted to take a minute to review how the feature control frame based dimensioning works in PC Demos. Now, for those of you that have been using it for a while, you know that it's the new style of dimensioning and that to activate this style of dimensioning, we need to go under insert dimension and we need to ensure that there is no check mark next to use legacy dimensions. The second thing we need to do is define some datums in our part program. And these datums are going to behave differently than the current alignment that we have set up. And they behave based on the ASME Y14.5 standard. There's a couple of ways we can define our datums. We can select insert dimension and at the top we have an entry labeled datum definition and I'm going to select some features as datums. I'm going to choose plane A as datum A. I'm going to choose line B as datum B and point C as datum C. And I'm going to choose cylinder 5 as datum D. Now cylinder 5 is actually this main bore in the center of my part. So let's dimension the true position of these four cylinders, cylinder 1 through cylinder 4, based on a datum structure of A, D, and B. To do that, we'll select the true position icon on our toolbar the first thing you'll want to do is define the datum structure that you wish to use. We'll select A, D, and B. Now the order in which you choose these datums is going to affect how PCDemus calculates the true position. The next thing I'm going to do is select our four cylinders. And when you choose features of the same size, PC Demos allows you to dimension them at the same time. So inside of our feature control frame editor, we've got a callout that says four diameters, 15 millimeters, and it's given it some default tolerance, which I'll increase to 100 microns. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set the tolerance for our true position. And I'm going to set this tolerance to 250 microns and I'm going to use the material condition modifier M for maximum material condition. Now because these are cylinders the spec also allows us to choose a projection zone and in order to use a projection zone we need to give it a projected length. Now I'm working in millimeters and the size of my bores are about 25 millimeters deep. So that's going to be the value for my projection zone. Now the other thing we can do in here is build something called a composite callout. Sometimes on your drawing you see a callout that contains more than one feature control frame. To enable a composite callout, place a check next to composite and then simply fill in the second callout like what you see on the drawing. And I'm going to give this a callout of 100 microns at maximum material condition strictly to datum A. And I'm going to hit create to save this dimension in my part program. If we look inside the graphics display window, you'll notice that PCDemus has built a new trihedron. And this trihedron's colored a little differently, and it's to let you know the coordinate system that is represented by the datum structure that we've chosen. And we selected A, D, and B. So if we look inside the report window now, we can see a few things. First of all, PCDemus has evaluated the size of each of our cylinders. And this evaluation lets PCDemus calculate any of the bonus that is allowed for that feature. The next thing that we have is the first segment in our composite callout. And this is the true position to 250 microns to A, D, and B. The next thing PCDemus does is it evaluates the true position of segment 2. 
Now, because segment two is only constrained to datum A, then we're going to have a value under the datum shift. So we can see the next entry in our report is the datum shift for segment one, which is fully constrained, so it is not able to shift, and segment two, which is only constrained to datum A. So it is allowed to translate in X and Y and rotate about the Z axis. And you can see the values that PCDMS has applied to get that best fit to happen for us. And this is completely allowed under the ASME Y14.5 spec. The last bit of data we're going to have is going to show the position of each of our cylinders for segment one and for segment two. You'll notice the X and Y values are in relationship to the new trihedron that was created when we specified the datum structure.